Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've been missing for such a long time for three main reasons. Um, I didn't have the proper equipment. I wanted to upgrade my makeup skills and everything. So I'm now a certified makeup artist because I graduated makeup school. Um, and I transferred schools from a public school to a charter school now. And I'm graduating early and I'm trying to catch up. Well, not catch up because I was always ahead of credits. But just um, graduate early, so now I'm graduating in February when I'm supposed to graduate in 2018. So I'm graduating a year and half a semester ahead. I posted this picture. Oh crap. It's a double cut crease, and I was like, okay, well, I'll do it, but I'm gonna just change up the colors. And I just used the Tarte Cosmetics in Bloom palette there. So please like and subscribe, follow all my social media, turn on that notification button on so the moment I post my giveaway, you guys are the first ones to see it. So please like and subscribe. Um, stay tuned to see how I got this double cut grease with glitter. Okay, so I'm just using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and a Morphe M432 brush, which is just a flat brush. And we didn't even notice that the camera wasn't recording, so I just did a line and I'm gonna like, how do I say it? I'm gonna try to bring it down a little and I'm flicking up to blend. And I'm going to go in with a number four brush, which is just a small pointed blending brush. And going in with, mm, let's go, with raw sienna and burnt orange and a little bit of, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, railgar. I'm just going to go very little and then tap it off. I have very, very, very small eyelids, so this is a very hard and consuming eye look, so bear with me. Going back with the red ochre and love letter to deepen up. And I see that I kind of went too low on the cut crease right here. I'm going to go with the Q-tip and just swoop it and clean it up little by little because my concealer, how do I say like, mixes in with the color and yeah it becomes a big mess going back with the q-tip to clean it up before i go in go in with the concealer and i'm just using an la girl pro conceal and light ivory and i like using paint brushes i know it sounds weird but honestly paint brushes really do go in and cut and get like a precise detail in every eye look so i'm just using a master stroke shader brush and number two it's just a small brush with some concealer and i'm just going to start cutting it i'm just cutting it and going back with a q-tip because i feel like when we go back with concealer and try to clean it up again it's gonna like look very very cakey and no thanks. Going in back with a little bit more concealer to really cut it. And flick up to get that blend. Or you can just leave it there and make it very very dramatic but I like my things to be blended with a little bit of dramaticness. So you can just leave it here and add a wing liner and just let it be a natural, not natural, but like dramatic, very soft color for cut crease. Or we can go in again and do a double cut crease, which I'm going to show right now, which I'm just going to keep blending to get it precise. So I just cleaned it up and everything. So now I'm going to go in with red ochre and love letter again with a Morphe M432 brush. And this is where I'm going to do the double cut crease, the second crease. Think of it as eyeliner. Take it out and then bring it back in. And But this is like a very, very dramatic eyeliner. It's just going to swoop it in the crease. Swoop, swoop it in the crease. Going in with a little letter and red ochre one more time to really intensify it. 
and going inside of the crease. I like to make it like a round right here, but it seems like it's not working right now. I'm going to clean it up and sharpen it. Now we're going to go in the middle of the crease and we're going to cut it so sharp, like cut it, just like really, really cut it. And you got to be really precise and right here, just so lightly. Do you see what I'm trying to do? Like I'm just trying to clean it up and make it sharp. And I'm not going to try to like open my eye or I mean, I'm going to go in with a Q-tip and take out very, very, how do I say it? Like, just going to go in with a Q-tip and try to take out all the concealer so it looks clean and not cakey in between there. So this is kind of almost the end of the look. You can stop here and then add some shimmer and then your eyelashes. But I really do enjoy glitter, so I'm going to use the J-Cat White Sparkling, the Rocking the Night Sparkle Powder. It doesn't even have the name on it, it's just a white glitter. And because I am using like rosy pink oranges, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Sparkle, Mega Sparkle Pink Sugar um, <laughs> Glitter. <laughs> and I'm going to put them on my little... Thing and mix those two glitters together. I'm gonna go in with a what brush is small and precise for glitter? I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M170 hyphen 6, which is just I think it's a lip brush, but I like it for glitter. And I'm gonna use the Too Faced glitter glue. I'm gonna place the glitter glue first. Oh my eyelashes, oh my god, what's wrong?